Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, we will be using various algebraic identities with difference of squares, which is a squared minus b squared being the primary method. So let's dive right in. Right off the bat, we should be able to see that these first two terms in the expression that is given resembles the form a squared minus 2ab. So let us check whether our last term is indeed equal to b squared, but notice that the expression within your brackets isn't exactly the same. The first one being a squared plus b squared, the second one being a squared minus b squared. So unfortunately, the question will not be that simple to solve. Okay, but we do know that we eventually want to make a form of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared from these two first terms over here. So let's see how that can be done over here. All right. So this can be written as x to the power of 4 minus 2a squared plus b squared x squared. So notice if this here is your a, or rather your b, then therefore the term that comes after must be the square of that term. All right? And this is how we complete the square for the first three terms. All right? And then your last term stays the same. Okay? But notice that since we added this term now, to ensure that the value of our expression remains unchanged, we have to remember to subtract it afterwards. Okay, so now that we have completed the square, these first three terms can now be written as x squared minus bracket a squared plus b squared, whole thing squared. So that's the three terms that are being factorized. Whereas if we were to look at our last two terms, this is now of the form a squared minus b squared. Hence, it can be written as a plus b, which is a squared minus b squared plus a squared plus b squared. All right, so therefore that will give us 2a squared. That is a plus b, whereas your a minus b will be this, subtract this. All right, so the a squared will cancel each other out. We'll be left with negative 2b squared over here. Okay. So for my factorized form, I will simply expand this. Whereas for the two terms on my right, I can now write it as minus 4a squared b squared. Okay. Now at this stage, notice that actually this term is a square number by itself. And since it is equals to 2ab whole thing squared, we now again have another opportunity to apply a squared minus b squared again. Okay, whereby this is your a and this is your b. So a squared minus b squared will be equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Alright, now if we focus on these three terms within each of these brackets over here, you'll be able to see that they do resemble another two identities, right? One being the square of the sum of a and b one being the square of the difference of a and b. Therefore, if we were to insert the brackets, this is what the expressions would look like. This being your first bracket, and your second bracket were to look something like this. Okay? And therefore, this now becomes yet another square, and the same goes for the expression on our right-hand side. And yet again, we can apply the difference of squares. This time, this is our a, this is our b, this is our a, and this is our b. Okay? So this is a plus b, a minus b, and then again, a plus b, and a minus b. And therefore, this right here will be our final answer since none of these four terms can be factorized any further. So just to sum up, we are making use of all three identities over here in fact, okay, with difference of squares being the main one. Okay, so completing the square is also very key so that we are able to achieve this form over here, which we can then factorize into this form over here. Alright, and then of course we just need to notice at which stages 
is it okay for us to apply the difference of squares over here, right? We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.